Howdy y'all, it's September 5. I'm gonna try a chicken dish here. It's already cooked, I'm just about to take it out of the oven. My usual process of brine the, the chicken overnight, these are four split breasts with the rib bones in. And I kind of cooked them in the oven in a, a couple of layers of different things. I uh, did some dry spices, I let them sit in there for two hours uh, with some dry spices. And then I just layered it in to a pot, covered it and slow cooked it in the oven. And uh, two hours on 350, half hour on 200, and then I turn the oven off and just let it sit there for an hour. So now we're going to remove it, and I'm actually going to flip it over because the chicken's on the bottom. So we're going to flip it over into another bowl and really see what we got. So let's take this from the oven. Let's see how we did. Okay, now I want to flip that over. Now that's got different layers in there. There's some, uh, there's some wheat bran. There's ground up flaxseed. There's a slight bit of uh, King Arthur white flour, um, some different stuff, but I can see there's a liquid floating in there. So what we're going to want to do is flip this thing over. We're going to try to flip that over without spilling it all over the place. I shall, probably should put a tray under it. Let's put a tray under it just to be on the safe side. That is very hot, so I'm sure my stuff is all cooked. Ow. Okay, there. Alrighty. We're going to try and flip this thing over. Okay, not spill that on me. Okay, let's pry that off. Just a simple chicken stew. I'm going to probably add some tomatoes that I already have cooked. They're sitting in the fridge. I could probably heat those up and throw those in. So that's just it. I just wanted to, uh, to do that. Chicken brush stew. I'm going to add some tomato. Okay, so we have some tomatoes, which I had previously done up. Heavy garlic on those and vegetable oil and oregano and basil. Okay. I'm 
I'll have to find something to serve that over. Different things. I have all kinds of different pasta. Which I'll probably use. And Parmesan cheese would be good also. Not very difficult. I brine the chicken overnight, use dry spices on it to flavor it, left the skin on. Then I put down a couple of potatoes to keep the chicken off the bottom of the pan, layered in the chicken, sprinkled uh, some more spices on it, basil and oregano, added the, uh, the uh, wheat bran, sprinkled on the wheat bran, put in a layer of red onion, Sprinkled on the uh, ground up flaxseed. Uh, then uh, some can, uh, actually some red pepper flakes I ground up in my coffee grinder to the consistency of can. Sprinkled that on there. And uh, more basil, more oregano on the very top, a layer of corn. And then at the very end, some tomatoes I had that were marinating in the uh, fridge with... Uh, they had been cooked, and they were marinating with garlic and stuff, you know, oil, veggie oil. So the oil went in at the end. I didn't use any kind of fats or oils in cooking. And I'll just, uh, I don't know what I'll do with this. How I'll do it, what I'll wind up with, and what I'll go on to another recipe with. Simple, easy. I got, I got those four-piece chicken breasts for about $3.80, something like that, $4.80, $3.80. They were on sale. So this kind of stretches out my meals more. I just wish you'd check out a chicken breast. Heavy on the oregano, which I like. The basil I can taste. I can't taste the uh, the hot spice. Well, I taste it now. The very last flavor is that ground up red pepper flake. Mmm. Mmm. Chicken on sale. Brine it. Salt water overnight. Then go to town, whatever you think of. Have a great September.